Hello everybody, this is Stingray29, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So, and last time I did this, which was actually yesterday, yeah, um, we passed nights 1 and 2, so we are going to be continuing to night 3, so let's get straight into this. And there was also a really creepy cutscene that I totally did. Alright, so, back here... Hey, what's up, bro? Uh, hello, hello. Hey. No, he didn't. Not. Yeah, curious. you're right. Like I said, he was always my favorite. They Mine too. To Foxy, you know? uh, they thought the first one was oh. too scary, so they redesigned it to be more kid-friendly instead of a kid's code. Oh, hey, Foxy, we were just talking about you. Days, you know? What's up? But kids these days can't keep their hands to themselves. Yeah. So that's what this thing is. Are you sure? Are you sure? Drop in the beat. Drop in the space. It actually does sound kind of like a remix. I don't know. Um, by the way, uh, I, I realized that last time you guys probably couldn't, like, hear, um, what was I gonna say? You could probably couldn't hear the game music as well, but, so I turned the volume up to see if that helped at all, and I'm still using Bandicam, so, but I did verify my account, so that's, I'm uploading longer videos and trying to make custom thumbnails and stuff. Why am I doing the pro strategy what's wrong with you all right hey oh boy no one loves you balloon boy hello whoa did i just hear like footsteps i didn't know you could hear footsteps in this game that must have been like foxy running up to the corner or something That was still pretty cool. I didn't know you could hear that. Usually, I don't play this game with headphones on because, you know, I'm a wimp. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm actually playing with headphones on this time. So, if something loud is happening, I'm definitely going to hear it. So, don't worry about me not hearing that. <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully, we can finish this. I hear that shuffling. I can kind of hear shuffling, it's really weird. It's like really fast shuffling, so this, that obviously means they walk, try to walk a lot faster in this game. Well, what does that mean? Foxy. Smoxy. Foxy, Foxy. There's still no one in my vents, and it's 3 a.m. Which is kind of surprising for night three. There's something getting where you go with. It's Bonnie. It's Bonnie, of course. All right, so when I first played night three, I didn't always understand how to do this. But basically, if you see them on your third night, if you see them right there or in their your vents. You can hear them bouncing into your vents. Not bouncing, but you, you know what I mean. You can hear them like... It's like metallic on metal. That didn't make sense. Okay, ignore that. But you can hear them coming into the vents. And when you do that, you just have to do what I'm doing right now. Which is as soon as you put down the camera, put on your mask. It takes some practice and some getting used to, but... It does... It is a very effective strategy. I've, I've gotten fast at these games. 
because I've played them too much. You know. There are a lot of people who think Five Nights at Freddy's is overrated. But I don't. I think it's actually a really good game for its story and everything. Whenever I turn on the flashlight, it's kind of funny because I can always see my um, FPS lagging a bit. Alright, it's 4 a.m. and no one's attack even tried to attack me except for Foxy. So this is actually... There we go. Didn't expect you there. Alright, so, yeah, we're obviously gonna make it. If that wasn't Toy Bunny. It wasn't Toy Bunny, thank goodness. You can also put your mouse right where you put the mask on. Just in case, you know what I mean. So, it's 4 a.m. and now they're just all deciding to attack me. This is perfect. It's, I, I guess they like, like 4 a.m. It's like when they party. Because Balloon Boy's coming, probably to hand out balloons, so, I mean, that can make sense, right? Right? Alright. It's 5 a.m. Also, I might get kind of focused during these videos, so if I go quiet, don't get. Don't screw me. Okay, I'm not screwed. I took my headphones off there for a second because I thought I was dead. Because I was not expecting them to be there. Bloom Boy, I know you're there. Go away. Alright, so I'm going to eat a little faster there, because I guess I need to start expecting more. <laughs> yeah, like seriously, I had no idea that was happening at all. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit here. I was going slow, just so you guys could see. There we go. Now we have the creepy part. What the? Ha 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 ha. And they all stare at you. Yeah. Not cool. Bonnie's eyeless too, so it's not exactly the greatest thing in the world. Alright, Bonnie. What do you look like? Oh, look at those start soulless eyes staring into my soul. So adorable. Always makes me want to cry. Because this children's spot. And those dark soulless eyes too. You know, the usual. This is what you could expect in a 5 minutes of Freddy's game. It's me. I know it's you. Alright. Fourth night, let's go. Alright, now this is where things start getting a bit hard. Because your flashlight does not have nearly as much battery. The music box goes down faster. And everyone's extremely active. See, Mango's already moved. They are already after me. Okay, so just to update you, there's been somewhat of an investigation going on. About what? That animatronic's trying to kill people. Me. Uh, I want to emphasize, though, that it's really just a precaution. Uh, bad for entertainment denies any wrongdoing. Uh -huh. These things happen sometimes. You mean like filing a report after the person's dead and their e the evidence of their death has been destroyed? Uh, just as a side note, though, uh, try to avoid eye contact with any of the animatronic side if you can. Uh, someone may have tampered with their facial recognition system. We're not sure. But the characters have been acting very unusual, almost aggressive towards the staff. They interact with the kids. Me. Fine. I'm a staff. Oh, hey, Mangle. Take him there. Good selfie uh, there. Anyway, hang tight. We'll all pass. Good night. Good night. This is going to be the best night in the world. Balloon Boy is already here to rip my face off. Oh, no. He's already here to screw me. Over. I always think I hear him thumping away, but it's not actually him. Also, I realize that you can't actually spend too much time in the camera, because if you do, then they will actually come and kill you, like, before you get out of the camera. Like, the, um, old animatronics will come and kill you. Like, as soon as you get out of the camera, they'll kill you. The old animatronics won't wait.
to for you to put your mask on, they'll just kill you as soon as you get out of the camera. I think I've explained that enough. But it is kind of annoying, and you do want to make sure you keep your music box wound up. And if it does get too far unwound, do not spend up too much time. No, don't wind it all the way up. Just wind it up a little. Wind it up in kind of short bursts. I want to say short bursts, like wind it up a quarter, then check your lights, and then wind it up another quarter. Cause even after the music box does go down, there still is a little time before the marionette comes out. I would know that because I've had way too many close calls with that thing. All right, so let's see if we can. Okay, sorry, I was interrupted a bit there. Um, but I'm back now, so yeah. Um, hey, Bonnie, Bon Bon. I did think the whole idea of the mask was pretty cool, though. I just thought it would be way too overpowered, but it's not because you have to put them on fast, or the mask on fast. It's not it, it's not them. The mask is not a living thing. Unless it is living and I'm being tricked. This is like a government experiment and I'm the test subject. Like seriously, why can't they just have this dumb music box wind itself up? Or why can't it be like a radio or something? Do, do you see what I'm saying? Like, this company should think of so many things. It's like they're trying to get you killed. It's like a challenge. Maybe it is a government experiment. See how many people can survive. Animatronics trying to kill them. And not go insane. Because I will admit, it is a stressful game. It's very stressful. Balloon Boy, I know you're there, so I gotta wait a second. Alright. Balloon Boy will stay there, can stay there for a while, though, and screw you over. That's why everyone hates him, because he's an annoying little brat that only wants to give you balloons, but will stop at nothing to do it. I guess he just wants a friend so much that it will drive him to the point of insanity. And by insanity, I mean saying hi to people that do not want to be said hi to, and creeping people out a lot. Mangle also really looks weird when he's not, or she, I should say, kind of, is not, like, in his mangled up form. He does look a lot different and a lot more, like, I don't know why that's completely appropriate for children, but, you know, it's kind of a little suggestive, I would say. But, I mean, it works good if the company needs, so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's hard for me to focus and talk at the same time. Also, I've realized that some of my games kind of lag a little bit when I'm playing them. Also, I won't just be doing Five Nights at Freddy's, guys, so don't worry about that. That's why I'm doing two nights per episode. Alright, so hopefully we beat this. Fifth, the fifth and sixth night are the nights I might have trouble with. That was like instant. Thank you for being nice to me, Mangle. Um. Dun, 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 dun. 
And then this next part can be kind of creepy. I just don't like the marionettes. Hello? Can't see your eyes. Probably should have thought of that. I when I actually think about this, I think it's phone guy, cause you know how he got killed. I think it's phone guy, and the animatronics start to figure out that he is faking it, and that he somehow survived being stuffed in the suit. And the marionette is the leader of them all. All right, so. I'm gonna stop this here, and in the next one we will do night five and maybe night six. I don't know, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And oh, goodbye. Hey, uh,